My husband and I say that persimmons are zombie fruit because they actually aren't ripe until they look like they're completely rotten. <laughs> the truth of true organic food is that it's going to have bugs and dirt all over it, but it's going to be delicious. My name's Angel Elliott, and we are in Rougemont, North Carolina. Last year, I noticed I had some persimmons, so I called my grandmother. She came over, we made a few recipes, some pie and some persimmon pudding, and I still had about five pounds left I didn't know what to do with. I usually don't bring them in on board, but... <laughs> And I ran across a blog post from Sean at Fullstein Brewery, and he said that he was looking for persimmons to make his first frost gift. <laughs> I said, that sounds pretty interesting if they can actually do something with these, so let's see what they can do. First frost is a winter ale made with native forage persimmons. And it's unique because we actually get the persimmons from the community. And so it's a market rate, and this year it's $2.50 a pound. I'm Sean Lilly Wilson, owner and chief executive optimist of Full Steam Brewery here in beautiful downtown Durham, North Carolina. That's great. Our mission at Full Steam as a plow to pint brewery is to incorporate local ingredients into the beer making process to make distinctly southern beer. One of the most rewarding things about the Forager Initiative is getting people connected again with the land. That is just an incredible connection that we can foster through, of all things, beer. First Frost, has, the beer, has a real unique characteristic. Of course, it tastes like persimmons, but a lot of people don't know what persimmons taste like. It's a spicy, kind of apricot meets pumpkin-like quality to it. And then we build on that flavor profile by adding some yeast that complement that sort of indigenous spiciness. Mmm, fresh yeast. And a little bit of Belgian candy sugar to raise the alcohol content. So could we make first frost without the community's involvement? In short, we couldn't. Last year's batch was 550 pounds of native and farm persimmons, and we couldn't do that without the community connection. That to me is the purpose of what we're doing with this project, to connect people with the unique things that grow in North Carolina. There's nothing better than giving money to somebody who might have had a, a tree produce fruit that they wouldn't have otherwise known what to do with. And to see Angel and, and, and her crew come in, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's not like making a beer from you know, tomatoes or something like that. Persimmons make sense. <laughs>